I'm going to start with this piece of paper. It's just got to be like a heavy cardstock. I um, can't really lift it up, but it's stuck on my board here. I've taped the bottom and the top of it. Just because I'm not going to use the whole paper, I'm just going to use this inner part right here just to create a very dramatic effect. Um, I'm starting with some just acrylic paints. I'm using an ultramarine by Reeves and then just a plain craft paint, apple barrel acrylic white. Um, so I'm mixing those two together and I'm mixing it with some water. I have my throwaway little cup here. Um, mixing that together, making a wash, and we're going to just go right over the top right here and create kind of like a sky color here. Don't fill the whole page, just try and do a little bit in the middle. Okay, you see my craft paint has mixed with my blue and it's got this like cornflower blue kind of color going on. It's because ultramarine has bits of like purple in it. That's like the underlying color of it. Later I'll show you guys how different colors have more colors mixed in with them. There's never like a true pigment with most of these. So I'll show you guys what that's all about. Um, next, for putting that on that, we are using this. It is a fan brush. I'm sure many of you have seen it and been like, what the hell am I going to do with that? You know, it's kind of like the extra brush that gets no love. The one that you don't really use, you just have. And people are like, oh, they're so arty, right? Yeah, that's what this is. So first of all, I'm going to dip it up in some water. Scoop up a little bit of paint. And I'm just going to go over. Don't have to be good. Don't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to fill up this space. So, you know, fill it up. We're not Bob Ross, we're not, you know, no need to make it perfect. We're just trying to fill the center area. And that corner, corners, how the fan brush is pulling it, gives it some interest. So, and you can tell, like, we have some dark blues, some light whites going on in there. I didn't totally mix this. I kind of just sparsely went through it. I was like, okay, good enough. So yep, just keep going over this. Add some water. It's on top. If you taped it, you're okay because it shouldn't bubble and ripple too much if you got some good hard stock. Mine's rippling a little bit, but it's to be expected. Water. Paper. Don't go so good together. Okay, well that's good. That's good. Okay. So, moving on. From there, we're gonna show. Uh, I'm gonna show you the actual technique part of it, and that's involving ink. So let this dry a little bit, because otherwise it's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> and get a brush that you use specifically for ink. And this is my ink brush. This is the one that I use. I have a whole set of brushes that I use for ink, but this one specifically is what I'm gonna use. I call it my ink brush because as soon as you use the ink, it's gonna stain unless you use really good brush cleaner. So I always have an extra set of brushes in case I want to use ink. Um, I'll show you the inks that we're going to be using here in a second. And this is the ink we're using today. Um, it's calligraphy ink, but really any ink will do. It doesn't really matter. Um, I've used this to death. I've had this for a year, and I'm still not at the bottom of it. So know when you get calligraphy ink, it's like a huge investment. Um, I got this one like four months ago, and I've been using this to death as well. But, you know, it lasts really does last and I can say that honestly like I've done multiple things with ink and they just they're just great I love working with ink okay so for this you'll need ink a straw a pencil it doesn't matter what kind of pencil this is a 3h pencil it really doesn't matter it could be a mechanical pencil it's fine your brush some water it's my muggy water over here and then we're gonna get started Okay, so we have this sky going on here, but we don't have a ground. So, we're going to start by making a ground. Okay, it doesn't really matter where we put the ground. We just got to put it somewhere. So, ground is here. And I know some of you are like, Oh, you just made a crazy crooked line. What the hell's wrong with you? Um, if you're worried about the line being perfect, that's what the pencil's for. I'm not going to use a pencil. I really don't want to. Um, so, we made a line, and now we're going to make another line. This one is going up. There. Good. Doesn't have to be perfect. And we have the line going down. I get like a triangle, kind of a cone looking thing. It really doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to make grass. I know. I'm drawing like a preschooler. But 
You can put as much time and effort into your grass as you want. I'm just kind of, there we go. There goes grass. Na, 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 na. Grass. Grass, 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 grass. Alright. Good. Now, this part is interesting. Get a lot of, okay, look. Get a lot of ink on your brush. And just dab it right there. Okay, now we've got to hurry. Move your brush over to the side, get your straw, and blow. Yeah, really, blow on the ink. We've started something here. We've started something here. As you see, we're creating something. Eh, throw some more blobs on there. A couple more. And then, do it again. Rinse and repeat. So we have this crazy thing going on here. You're like, what in the world? But it's becoming, it's becoming a tree. Do you see it? Turning out pretty good, eh? Okay. Now, all you gotta do is keep doing this. Just keep scooping up bits. Dip it in the water if you feel like you need to. Plop it on down. You can save a lot of ink just by putting it in water, putting it on the paper. And then, you know, repeating the process. Don't think your base is big enough? Add some more. Why the hell not? Right? We're not making, you know, friggin' the most symmetrical tree in the world, but hey, it's a tree. Alright. Now, as you can tell, I use way too much water down here. So, scoop up some more ink. Throw that on there. Do, 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 Making trees. Making trees. Add some over there. Now this demonstrates a very interesting way of using inks. I know mine's dripping. <laughs> Don't worry about that. That's okay. So that's what I have now. And as you can tell, the gradients change whenever you use water. So, interesting, interesting. Um, I'm probably going to... go. Pretty cool. Looking pretty sweet. Alright, so you can do whatever you want with this. You can use those like spidery, spindly effects for like anything. Really anything. Sky's the limit. I just feel like making a tree in the middle of nowhere. You know? You could use different colors. You could use red. They all turn out really cool. So, that's my technique of the day. If you want to learn some more, definitely check out this book. This is an amazing book. Um... I can't imagine that it'll cost that much. I mean, I got this at Goodwill. It was like a bug. You know. It's definitely not going to cost you very much. Um, so that's the technique of the day. Alright, see you guys.